Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a what I eat in a day. Um, normally I do these on Wednesdays, as you know, what I ate Wednesday. Um, there are some changes that coming to the channel. Um, nothing bad, but I'm trying to figure things out still. Um, and some of you may remember last year I subbed quite a bit at Gunner School. He's in preschool. And um, they, I think I talked about this on Instagram. I don't think I've mentioned this here at all. Um, maybe I have. I don't know. They approached me at the end of the year and asked me if I would be interested in taking on a teaching position. And I said yes. <laughs> Obviously, I spent some time thinking about it. We discussed it. I prayed over it. And just kind of felt like God was leading me to say yes. Um, and mind you, I have no teaching experience other than subbing and doing vacation Bible school. So I am excited, but I am also very, very nervous. I am going to be teaching one of the three-year-old classes. And um, it is part-time. So they don't do full days there. Um, it's not going to be that big of a difference. But obviously there is going to be an adjustment period with just trying to get back into a groove um, with working and now I have my channel and I have a child which is totally different than when I was working before um, so I just don't know what my schedule here is going to look like in an ideal perfect world I will still continue to upload Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, but normally I film these videos on Tuesdays so that they can go up on Wednesdays. And I feel like Tuesdays are just gonna be like a mad rush for me to get out the door. I'll probably just end up grabbing like a protein bar or something. So I don't know, maybe you guys do wanna see that. I mean, that's realistic. Maybe you do wanna see like a real working mom, what I eat in a day. I don't really know. What, buddy? Yes, we are in just a little bit. Um, so I guess let me know down below like what your thoughts are. Maybe you don't even really care. Do you prefer to see it more as like a stay-at-home mom style, you know, like a day of where I'm at home not doing anything? Or do you really want to see like a realistic, like, I mean, all of them are realistic, but do you want to see one that is like has work included in it as well? I don't know. Basically, I don't know that I'm going to be doing these videos on Wednesday. All of that just to come and say this. <laughs> Anyways, my arm is about to fall off. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. My elbow has been bothering me for months now. I thought that maybe I had like bursitis or something like that, but it is so painful. There's like a little squishy bump at the tip of it and um, it hurts really bad. And so I've put it off long enough. I'm going to the orthopedic doctor to have it looked out. Prayers that it's like nothing serious that I don't need surgery or anything like that. So I did have some coffee this morning. I have not had breakfast or anything. This is what is left of my coffee. It's cold at this point. I'm just kind of over it. I mean, I'm not over coffee, but I'm over just drinking that. Um, so I did the Starbucks Pike Place roast. This is a medium roast. I, I'm really hooked on it. Like I really, really like it. And then I also did the international, whoa, <laughs> international to like caramel macchiato. Um, I gotta throw this away because it's empty now, but this creamer with that coffee is so good. I cannot even describe like with the flavor combination. My lens is like really dirty. Hopefully it's not translating that way on camera, but I need to clean it. Um, but that flavor combination is so, so yummy. Um, so I need to get more of that. I do have some other creamers though that I probably just need to use up. Um, and then breakfast, I don't really know because we were literally like, I have to get Gunner dressed and then we're going to head out the door. I might just grab a protein bar or something. Um, I have the GFB bar. I got this in that variety fun box, um, which by the way, everything I've had from there has been good except for two things. The IQ bar, I think is what it was called. That was disgusting. And then the hip peas, I think they were. They were like the chickpea, like Cheetos. I couldn't do those. But everything else I've had has been really good. 
Um, so I don't know if I want to try this. And then I do just have like a regular good old fashioned cliff bar, which I do really like. So I might try this gluten free bar and see it's peanut butter. So I'm going to take that with me. I'm hoping to stop and get some coffee on the way just because. Here's the salad that I made. Um, so I did spring mix with carrots, tomatoes, cucumber, um, some cheese, and then I also have a little bit of corn in there that I just cut off the cob. We um, smoked ribs the other day and then had corn on the cob and potato salad and all of that. And it was so yummy. So I'm just trying to eat up what leftovers we have. Um, and then I also put some of those ribs on top. And then I drizzled a little bit of barbecue sauce and ranch for the dressing and then I also have a Diet Coke to go with it. And then I'm gonna grab a couple of my dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's for my little snack afterwards. Just a little something sweet. I do three of them. I always want something sweet after my lunch. I don't know why. So I think I'm just gonna watch some TV while I'm eating this. Um, watch one of my shows that I need to get caught up on. Um, and then I'm gonna change my clothes and I need to clean the bathrooms. I've been trying to get this bathroom clean for the last hour and I have to keep stopping literally every five minutes because Gunnar wants to go outside or Gunnar wants a snack or he wants this or that. So he's just at that age right now where he um, is like jumping around from thing to thing. Like he can't sit and do the same thing for very long. Um, and I've heard from others that that's kind of like a common thing at this age. So I did get the counter and the mirror clean and the sink clean here. And then I have the shower curtain in the um, dryer. I just washed it. Um, so I'm going to try to get the rest of this knocked out because I want to sit in the tub tonight and relax and wash my hair and exfoliate and shave so I can tan tonight. Um, but I'm grabbing a quick little... Oh! It's back. Bless it. This is the Trader Joe's popcorn with herbs and spices. I've never had this. I just saw it for the first time. You guys know that I love popcorn. So I was curious. Mm. It says it has dill, celery seed, and onion. It's very light. The seasoning is not heavy at all. Um, I didn't realize that had those seasonings in it. I didn't look at it when I bought it. I was kind of expecting like rosemary or something like that. So I think I was expecting something a little more powerful. This is actually really good. This would be good with Parmesan cheese on it. All right, I'm about to hop in the tub. It's already after five and I did not get the bathroom entirely clean. I was actually hoping to get all three of our bathrooms clean, but I didn't even get this one fully done. Um, but Chris actually came home from work sick earlier. I forgot to mention that. So Gunnar and I have just been playing outside and trying to avoid that situation. I don't know what he has. I did um, grab these little Pop-Tart bites that I'm gonna snack on. They're pretty good. I've been wanting to try them for a while and I have not been able to find them anywhere in any of our stores. So Chris found them and ordered them. He probably got them from Amazon. I have no idea where they actually came from. Um, but he knew that I've been wanting to try them so it was really sweet. So anyways, I'm gonna soak in the tub for a little bit and then we'll grab dinner. I'm probably just gonna do leftovers tonight because it's easy and it was good and with him not feeling well, I'm not gonna go to the trouble of cooking a big dinner. So last night for dinner I made a chicken stir fry um, and I just took chicken breast and cooked it on the stove, just a little bit of coconut oil spray. And then I just added some frozen veggies. I did like an Asian mix that I got from Aldi two different kinds and poured that in and then the dressing I did this very very teriyaki sauce this stuff is so good um, and then I have on the bottom the 
organic jasmine rice that I get from Trader Joe's, which is amazing. It's our favorite. And then these egg rolls, I've shared them with you guys before, but they are seriously the best egg rolls next to getting them from a Chinese restaurant. Um, they taste like the egg rolls that you would get from the mall. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know these are good. Um, I always get the chicken ones. I prefer them over the pork ones, but the pork ones are okay, but the chicken ones are the best. And then they come with like these little sweet and sour sauce packets and I just drizzled a little bit of that on top. So that is dinner tonight. Um, and then I'm just drinking water. Good morning. Um, I completely went out last night. I forgot to finish the vlog and share with you my snack. I did get a snack, but I got out of the tub and we were just hanging out watching TV. And sometimes I forget to pick up the camera during those moments because um, I just get so caught up, you know, with just like spending time with my family and all of that. So we have really been loving these like drumsticks that you can get. This is the box. Um, I get them at Aldi. Obviously you can get them at like any grocery store, but I like these because they're a little bit bigger than the ones you get at most stores. Um, and you get the vanilla caramel and the vanilla fudge. So I had one of the vanilla fudge ones. They are really yummy and just kind of a nice and a little bit different treat than just like having straight up ice cream. I don't know what it is lately. It's probably, there's a bug on my ceiling. It's probably um, just like the hormones and stuff from doing our fertility treatments, but I just haven't been wanting ice cream lately. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new and don't forget to let me know in the comments below your thoughts on changing things up once I go to teaching. <laughs> um, sounds so weird. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for sharing in your time with me and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.